going from top to bottom. Uh, the Soyuz capsule is docked to the Quant-1 module. Underneath that is the core module where most of the uh, work takes place aboard the Mir. And then continuing down to the newest science module, which is the Spectre science module. This view now live uh, from the shuttle Atlantis from payload bay cameras. Clearly showing the, uh, the docking mechanism on the Crystal module. At the top is the Spectre Science module with one of its two solar arrays unfurled. The other array clearly uh, shown in its unfurled position. Uh, that will be un unfolded uh, as Anatoly Soloviev and Nikolai Budarin conduct a, a spacewalk in July following the STS-71 mission to use a, a pair of gardening shears, uh, an, imp an imp improvised device uh, that will be used to cut a binding strap that's preventing that array from being uh, unfolded. No impact, however, uh, to the Mir's operation. No impact to this mission, obviously. This is Mission Control Kaliningrad. We're at about uh, 3.30 p.m. Moscow time, which is about 2.30 p.m. on Mir, and everything continues to go very smoothly as is evidenced by the uh, pictures that we're receiving from the uh, shuttle of the Mir space station. The uh, crew on board Mir has about a couple of minutes remaining in a comm session that is currently going on as the Mir station and Atlantis fly over the eastern portion of Russia. We have a number of high-profile guests that are in the control center watching the operation from the gallery, including NASA Administrator Daniel Golden and Russian Space Agency Director General Yuri Koptev. We also expect to see the uh, mayor of Moscow coming in, as well as a number of members of the uh, Russian parliament. Brad, uh, this split-screen view now on the left side showing the uh, extended docking ring abor above the orbiter docking system and the uh, right-hand view again showing the centerline camera view from the orbiter docking system as it looks at the uh, blinking lights along the uh, Crystal module's docking port.